Good morning, kids! Welcome to our class. It is another day of fun and learning. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Quarter 4, Week 1. Our topic for today is about telling and writing time in minutes including AM and PM using analog and digital clocks. Kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! Objective Tells and writes time in minutes including AM and PM using analog and digital clocks. There are two types of clock. These are analog clock and digital clock. What is analog clock? Analog clock is the clock having the numbers 1 to 12 or equivalent Roman numerals around its face and three distinct moving hands to show seconds, minutes, and hours. What is digital clock? A digital clock is a type of clock that displays the time digitally in numerals as opposed to an analog clock. Digital clocks are often associated with electronic drives. A clock is used to tell time. A clock has two hands. We call them long hand and short hand. Long hand. Long hand or minute hand. It tells how many minutes after the hour. From one number to another is 5 minutes. We count by fives around the clock from 5 to 60. One hour equals 60 minutes. Short hand. Short hand or hour hand. It tells the hour. Again, long hand tells the minute. From one number to another is 5 minutes. We count by fives around the clock from 5 to 60. Let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Remember, we say a clock if the long hand is pointing at 6. Example, the time on this clock is 3 o'clock or 3 o'clock. The short hand is pointing at 3 and the long hand is pointing at 12. 12 means o'clock. If the clock tells 7.30, the short hand is pointing at 7 and the long hand is pointing at 6. The time is 7.30 or 7.30 or half past 7 o'clock. In reading the time, we always read first the short hand, hour hand, followed by reading the long hand, minute hand. How many hours in one day? Correct! There are 24 hours in one day. How many minutes are there in an hour? Correct! There are 60 minutes in an hour. The 24 hours of the day are divided into two periods, a.m. and p.m. Each period consists of 12 hours. The 24-hour-a-day cycle starts at 12 midnight, usually indicated as 12 a.m., 12 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. Runs through 12 noon, usually indicated as 12 p.m., and continues just before midnight at the end of the day, 12 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. Let's try these examples. Let's draw the hands of the clock. The time is 9.05. It is 5 minutes after 9 o'clock. Let's start drawing the short hand, pointing at 9. Next is long hand, pointing at 1 means 5 minutes another the time is 6 35 it is 35 minutes after 6 o'clock 
Let's start drawing the short hand, pointing at 6. Next is long hand, pointing at 7. 7 stands for 35 minutes. Another. The time is 4.15. It is 15 minutes past 4 o'clock. We can also say it is quarter past 4 o'clock. The short hand is pointing at 4. And the long hand is pointing at 3. 4.15. 3 stands for 15 minutes. Quarter past means 15 minutes after. Another. The time is 4.45. It is 15 minutes before 5 o'clock. We can also say it is quarter before 5 o'clock. So the short hand is pointing at 4. And the long hand is pointing at 9. 9 stands for 45 minutes. Quarter before means 15 minutes before. Another. The time is 8.30. It is 30 minutes past 8 o'clock. We can also say it is half past 8 o'clock. So the short hand is pointing at 8. And the long hand is pointing at 6. 6 stands for 30 minutes. Half past means 30 minutes after. Another. The time is 10.30. It is 30 minutes before 11 o'clock. We can also say it is half before 11 o'clock. So the short hand is pointing at 10. And the long hand is pointing at 6. 6 stands for 30 minutes. Half before means 30 minutes before. Let's try another examples. Write the time shown by the clock below. Identify if the time is a.m. or p.m. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's go to school. How to write the time? Correct! It is 6 o'clock. Morning is a.m. or p.m. Correct! It is a.m. 6 o'clock a.m. Another example. It is 12 o'clock noon. It is time to eat lunch. How to write the time? Correct! 12 o'clock. Noon is a.m. or p.m. Correct! It is p.m. 12 o'clock p.m. Another example. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. School is fun. How to write this time? Correct! We write this time like this. 10 o'clock. Morning is a.m. or p.m. Correct! It is a.m. 10 o'clock a.m. Another example. It is 9.30 in the evening. It is time to go to bed. How to write this time? Correct! We write this time like this. 9.30 Evening is a.m. or p.m. Correct! It is p.m. 9.30 p.m. Another example. It is 8 o'clock in the evening. Let's have dinner. How to write this time? Correct. We write this time like this. 8 o'clock. Evening is a.m. or p.m. Correct. It is p.m. 8 o'clock p.m. Kids, it's time for your activities. What time shown by the clock below? Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 Number 5 Number 6 Number 7 Number 8 Number 9 Another activity, choose the correct time. 
write the letter of your answer in your notebook. Number 1. A. 925 B. 945 C. 915 Number 2 A. 1005 B. 1250 C. 905 Number 3 A. 515 B. 545 C. 5 o'clock Number 4 A. 640 B. 930 C. 830 Number 5 A. 445 B. 345 C. 312 Number 6 A. 655 B. 255 C. 455 Remember, a clock is used to tell time. The long hand of the clock is called the minute hand. The short hand of the clock is called the hour hand. There are 24 hours in a day. There are 60 minutes in an hour. Kids, did you learn a lot from this lesson? Again, our topic is about telling and writing time in minutes including AM and PM using analog and digital clocks. Kids, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!